What would you like to uh, have more of? So let's get uh, unrealistic and into a fiction. Yes. So first thing that I would really like to have is to be cloned, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but still to have uh, the same brain, so I could uh, somehow know what the clone is doing. <laughs> okay, so, so one brain, but like two, two bodies. Two bodies, yes, or maybe three. Uh, I'm greedy, so okay. <laughs> um, because. Um, there are too many things that I would really like to do, and there's not enough time. So, so uh, basically, it's either more bodies or more time. Well, more time. I mean, usually I want to do it at the same time, simultaneously. So you cannot really postpone it. And I well, don't want to live like for two hundred years because no. <laughs> some some of the things will be gone. So basically, it would be nice to do this. Now. And uh, what are the things you'd like to do simultaneously? I am doing them now simultaneously, like three yeah. things at the same time. But uh, I don't do them properly yeah. because I don't have enough bodies. No. <laughs> so, so the three things are, one is the Nida Art Colony. Yes. One is my PhD studies, so it's uh, art history research, which I also enjoy very much. And the third one is the family that I have. So I would like to spend more time with each of those three, and I don't have enough possibilities. And uh, you know, it's it's not postponable because, for example, with kids, they are growing up, yeah. and you know, you cannot spend time with them when they are 30 or 35. No. So it's now basically, and the colony is also living now. And if it's you, if you postpone it, then it changes and it's uh, in a different way. So basically, that's what I would like to have more. And, uh you, you would like more time, but what would you like to give more of? To give? Give more from yourself. Yeah. Mm. Well, I have a feeling that I'm giving everything away that I can. <laughs> There's nothing more <laughs> to give. Uh, I have to have... I have to get something more in order to give more because now it's, um, I think that's it. I, um, there's no spare energy and there's no spare time. So yeah, I have to have a possibility to earn something in order to give more. Okay. So, yeah, okay. And uh, what would you like to give room for? I would like to give more room to collaborations, probably. But this means that you have to to build those collaborations first, and then to work with with that. And this can be, uh, let's say, a group of um, cultural workers working together. Uh, different kinds of uh, residencies. It's not really residencies, but spending time, let's say, somewhere and focusing on, on some certain stuff. For example, um, to do a reading residency, which once we had, but it happened just once, and it's quite difficult to organize because people don't have time for reading nowadays. <laughs> so that would be a really nice thing to do. To offer some time for, let's say, reading, some time for, for things that you don't have time to do or don't have space to do. So that would be, yeah. And collaborations meaning putting some people together and uh, letting them work together, facilitating those collaborations, and then seeing what comes out. Not immediately, but in uh, in some time in some period of time. And what would you like to take space from? <laughs> I like the opposite. Hmm. Um, well, this I understand in a very practical way. I mean, uh, there are lots of spaces that are not used. On the other hand, in meaning in Vilnius and in Nida and uh, all over, let's say, Lithuania. And it would be great to, to relocate the funding and to develop those spaces into something that can really be used by, by people. And uh, 
immediately I have uh, this sort of picture in my mind because for example um, during the last probably 10 years there was this uh, royal palace built in Vilnius in the very center of Vilnius for tenths of millions of liters and I take it as a totally senseless thing and waste of money and I think it would be much better to take some space, some abandoned buildings and redevelop them, refurbish them and um, let's say a very simple thing, do an extra kit kid hospital or an elderly house or something like that or I mean very very sort of practical stuff so instead of building something very artificial very propagandic very yeah political to do something very practical and use those buildings and this the space there was a, a so sort of an action recently in Vilnius, which I liked a lot. There was a, a person, I have no idea who it was, but they were painting on walls, or he or she was painting on walls of abandoned buildings, the same sentence all over, with huge letters that you could see even driving by in your car. And the sentence was Vilnius full of space. And this was appeared on each abandoned building everywhere. And I thought, this is so nice. This is so, yeah. so cool. And it is full of space, and the space yes. is not used at all. Uh, instead, we are investing in something which is not, not practical and not functional at all. Okay. Well, thank you.